Morning, everybody. Paulie from Polish Custom Skins. Well, Mod Studio 2 had a new update the weekend. I believe it was yesterday. So, if you, well, if you're my patron, you can get it to that. You can get it now. I think you have to wait two weeks before it's released to everybody else. So, if you're my patron, you can actually download, download the new version now. Uh, so, yeah. So, I thought today, because I know before, I think the cargo thing was having a problem. I don't think it was working right with the Mod Studio 2 before. So I thought today we will do a quick tutorial on how to do your own cargo in the game. Now this will create ATS or ATS2, whichever game you're playing. We're going to do the ATS one today. So let's go on to the main screen. So you get your Mod Studio 2 up. Um, oh, I'll show in the version. So I'm going to go ATS. There we go, look. Uh, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. So you got 20, 25.2. So that's the new one now. If you want to get that one, if you want to be a patron or not, that's up to you, of course. That's your choice. So I'm going to write yes. And then you want to go to simple cargo mod. That's all you've got to get to. So name that whatever internal name you want to put that out there. Uh, I'm just going to go aircraft because I've already tested this. So I'm going to do aircraft parts, and then we're going to go cargo. Now, what you can do is, there's one I've done. Um, let's zoom in so you can see. There's the one I've already done, that one there. So what I'm thinking is, what I did before was, this zoom thing's rubbish, isn't it? Get rid of that. So what I did was, Get the aircraft engine one there. Click that there where it says edit this item. Like so. You then get this little box show up. Or big box, whichever you got to turn the screen, of course. Just open it up so you can see it better. Now, you can name it whatever you want to name there. Uh, I'm going to put aircraft engines. Two. All this is already pre-filled in, so you can leave all that if you want. Just don't mess with none of that. Leave it all the way to you. Everything's like that. It's all different depots where you can pick it up from. Obviously, companies out, and then we're into the it too. So you can see they're more tick. So you can you can leave it like that, or you can add more companies if you want to. Your choice. And then companies where it's been delivered to companies in again already ticked here so you can obviously pick you can you leave it like that if you want that is the default cargo icon i'm going to leave that like that so then all you do is set your max distance there i'm going to put a thousand miles well i'm going to put a thousand i presume that's what it means if you click these here like so it'll go up onto mod studio 2's information uh information board what they've got on the website and it tells you all different things there they say companies are companies in the cargo icon you can make your own if you want so that's the sizes that you need just make your own just make your own icon if you want but i think that one looks okay to do so that uh, and it tells you different things what you can do look minimum distance maximum it tells you all different things that you can do for the cargoes so you can do that if you want to do that so i'm going to leave that the way to I'll put that a thousand not missing nothing else on there. I've left it the way it is. As you can see there, it's already ticked different places. Same on, uh, same there and same the other one. It's already ticked, so you've got to miss with that. And obviously, all the, um, all this is already ticked, and you've already got the waiting, one, uh, how much money you're going to earn, blah, 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 and all this and the other. So you can see it's already done for you there if you want to do that. And then all you've got to do, obviously, make sure you don't mention the internal name, leave that. Don't touch the internal name on. We're going to name it Aircraft Engines 2. I'm going to press Save. Now, if we come down here, scroll right way down to the bottom. You've got Aircraft Engines 2 there. So we're going to tick that. We're going to leave that like that. We're going to mod manifest cargo. 1.1. 1 .1.
aircraft engines and then we're going to export mod we're then going to go i'm going to go back over that one like so so that's that done we're then going to go into the game Maybe this works first time just so i'm hoping it's going to work the first time now you've already got a tick there aircraft aircraft engine so you know it's cargo so it's just gonna be a cargo in the in the game itself so obviously you use your own trailer right so good to jobs good to cargo marky uh type in there aircraft there we go look straight away so good aircraft engines going to albuquerque really you know then king Manami. and if you scroll through you'll have different ones show up there you go And there you are. Obviously, you can change that icon if you want to make it your own, make it look as authentic as you want. Obviously, if it's aircraft engine, if you can get an aircraft engine picture off the internet somewhere, you can obviously do that. I mean, you can see there, look, 1200 miles, and it's 1300 miles that trip. Uh, 764 of that miles, sorry, I just clicked. So, yeah, so it shows up straight away. It never used to show up before. We used to have, it never showed up. I tried it three or four times because I wanted to do a video before about it, but it never showed up before at all. And there you are, so you can have your own cargoes in game now if you want. There you go, Kingsman to a come, I think it's in the destination room. Let me have a look. Click the destination. Yeah, so it's in the destination mode, yeah. So I'll just show you how it works. So I've got a flatbed trailer on. Let me show you so you know you pick my crap there, I can't finish. Because obviously it's already set for you, so you're gonna mess with nothing like that if you don't want it. Obviously that's your choice. Click on that, click that, get to cargo marking. Uh, so pick whichever one you want to do. Both the same, six ton. Look on that way, it tells you got load, so you go back in the building. So let's get through the trees. I won't expect you now. As you can see, we're using Jasper's W900 cell at the moment. Uh, we are in, in the process of testing the template and the XML, see if we get it working. Uh, possibly be released in the next day or two, all being well. So I'm just going to press enter. And there you are. There's your aircraft engine. All loaded up here. That's it, people. Very simple, sir. That's all you gotta do, make your own cargoes. As easy as that. So easy process. Just follow all done. Just put whatever you want to put it in there, what in what internal number you want to use for your mod. Just keep it a, keep I think is it normally twelve or ten letters or things. So just keep it something simple. And then the cargo, just use one of these here. There's plenty there to choose from. Um and just make your own up. I mean, look, there's loads there. So if you click any one of these, you, so if you went to B Darby's, little box will show up. It's got machinery there. It show, it'll show up for different things. So it tells you what trailers to use. Low boy. Um, and then scroll down. Again, pick some. It's been ticked for the different places. 
There we go. Look, the machinery places, the farms, and the different places like that. And then obviously the same again for uh, the internet to different. They'll tick the different places, and then just set your what maximum distance you want that to be. And then obviously you can change this. If you want to change the, if you got an icon you can put in there. You don't have icons, but obviously due to the size they tell you when you click that there. So you do to that size there. Not cheap. Make your own cargoes. Simple as that. Hope yourselves a great Monday. And I'll speak to you soon. Take care.